Hi, this uh, video is going to be how I modified the Aquatic Life Internal Mini, uh, mini Protein Skimmer 115, the Model 115. And like uh, several other videos on YouTube, um, you can see that it's fairly, and uh, hear that it's fairly noisy, so take a listen. And yeah, that gurgling sound is because the input their input uh, uh, connection there um, is what's doing that. So the other video has essentially modified that to extend the tube so it's further away from the water level. Even though my water level is really low, it gurgles anyway. So I don't think it's really a water level issue. Uh, what I, I, I'm going to modify it a slightly different way uh, based on the reviews I saw from the other videos and uh, you'll see the comparison when it's all done. So I'm going to break here, take it out, and I'll open up and show you what I'm doing to modify it. All right, so here we have the unit. I'm going to take it apart here. So you just uh, slip the brackets off and do the cord. Move the cord out of the way and pull off the top. So you can see the problem is uh, this connection right here. So the other video is essentially had you remove this piece and put in a longer tube. But uh, I tried to remove the piece and uh, it uh, didn't come out really well. And I didn't want to drill it out and I was a little concerned about uh, prying it out that I might break the case. So I decided to uh, use a different approach which I'll show you in a minute. All right, I had to go get the parts that I had changed. So this is a tube, uh, just a regular, I think it's, uh, it's the air intake tube from a um, uh, Penguin uh, or uh, a power head. I don't remember which model it was, but I didn't use it. so. And fortunately, it fits right over the input like that. So that will get the air input for the um, for the impeller that you need. And then, uh, if I just did it this way, you'd have a problem with water still getting in from the inlet uh, uh, elbow here because uh, I didn't take it out. So what I did was. I put the original tubing was there, and oh, I forgot the other part. And uh, I wanted to block it off so that uh, the water from here wouldn't go up the tube, where you wouldn't get water down from the tube. So you could just uh, put a stopper in here, and I'll show you how I did that in a second. All right, so I took a piece of airline tubing, and fortunately it fit right in the end of the the other tubing. So I just squeezed it in there, pushed a little bit, and then I crimped it so that it wouldn't let any air or any of the uh, micro bubbles up the tube from the, uh, the impeller here. So there you can see. So I also was having some problems with micro bubbles, so I decided to put just uh, some filter floss in the return. Uh, hopefully uh, that should help uh, reduce the uh, micro bubbles. So we put this back in like that. There we go. We put the clips back on. Oops. All right. Got to put the power cord back in place. All right, so now we put the 
cap in and you can see it uh, fits right through the opening for the cap. Bend it down a little bit and just put the top back on like that. So there we have it. So now no water can get in from here so there shouldn't be any gurgling noise from this anymore. And there was one other change I made. I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm going to put this back in the tank, turn it on, and you can see it's quieter, but it's not completely quiet. And I did one other modification to make it, uh, I would say, almost completely quiet. And uh, you'll hear the difference in a minute. All right, so here we have the uh, skimmer back in the tank. You can see the, the tube there. I put the uh, rubber grommets back on and as you can hear it's still uh, somewhat noisy so I played around with it a little bit and discovered that by covering up the holes the sound actually goes away so what I did was took a couple pieces of scotch tape I do this one hand here there we go over the holes and now if you listen let me turn off the other filter now if you listen you can see that it's really quiet I wouldn't say it's a hundred percent quiet because if you listen carefully you can hear a little bit of hum but that's uh, pretty quiet and you really don't notice it after a while so particularly if you're not right up uh, against it so there you have my modification hope that uh, helps uh, Anyone else who is interested in doing this and didn't feel like drilling out their uh, case uh, and just use some simpler approach to extending the air tube and uh, closing off the top of the collection cup so that the sound wouldn't come through. It kind of acts as a baffle a little bit. There you go.